Hey there, wisdom seekers. It's Michael back here, ready to dive into another captivating journey into the realm of ancient mythology. Today, we're going to explore the intriguing origins of one of the most remarkable figures in ancient Egyptian lore, Thoth, the god of wisdom, writing, magic, and the moon. But before we do, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss an opportunity to expand your knowledge. Now, prepare to step back in time as we unravel the mysterious birth of Thoth and the dawn of wisdom in the world. Let's get started. Did you know that Thoth, the ancient Egyptian god of writing, magic, wisdom, and the moon, was not born in a conventional sense? This divine figure's birth is wrapped in mystery and myth, as the tales tell of his self-creation before the world even took shape. Thoth's emergence is deeply entwined with the sun god Ra. Legend has it that Thoth sprang forth from the very heart of Ra, a symbol of intellect and wisdom born from the core of light and life itself. This inception was no ordinary event, as it played a crucial role in the formation of the cosmos. Thoth, in his wisdom, was instrumental in establishing the order of the universe, setting the sun, moon, and stars in their places, and defining the rhythms of day and night. His birth was the dawn of knowledge, the inception of wisdom. Thus Thoth, the divine scribe, came into existence, marking the beginning of wisdom and knowledge in the world. Thoth, the master of both physical and divine laws, was no ordinary deity. His life was a testament to wisdom and knowledge, and his role was pivotal in the divine hierarchy. As the scribe of the gods, he was charged with recording all of their deeds and decisions, ensuring justice and balance in both the divine and mortal realms. An important facet of his scribal duties was the creation of the fabled Emerald Tablets. These legendary stone tablets were said to be inscribed by himself, containing the profound wisdom of the universe, written in a language so ancient that it barely resembles any known to man. The purpose of the Emerald Tablets was to pass on Thoth's universal knowledge to humankind, guiding them in the pursuit of wisdom and understanding. They're said to be hidden in a secret chamber, possibly residing deep beneath the pyramids of Egypt, waiting for the right time to be discovered and deciphered. He was a great benefactor to humanity, gifting us with the tools that would shape our civilization. He was the father of writing, bestowing upon us the ability to record our history and share our knowledge. He taught us mathematics, allowing us to understand the patterns of the universe and build great monuments, and introduced us to magic, revealing the secrets of the unseen world and enabling us to interact with the divine. Among Thoth's many gifts, the Book of Thoth and the Emerald Tablets stand out. These legendary texts, said to contain all the secrets of the universe, symbolize Thoth's commitment to the pursuit of knowledge and the sharing of wisdom. Future of Thoth, as foretold by ancient texts, is shrouded in mystery and fascination. Prophecies surrounding Thoth frequently portray him as a central figure in the end times, anticipated to re-emerge and bring wisdom to a world grappling with upheaval. He is foreseen as the guiding beacon for humanity during a time of profound transformation. Thoth's profound connection with the moon has sparked compelling debates among scholars and enthusiasts alike. This lunar association is not merely symbolic. Some interpret this bond as an indication of future lunar exploration possibly unveiling secrets related to this wise deity. Now, let's delve a little deeper into this celestial connection. The moon, our silent sentinel in the cosmic expanse, might indeed harbor the key to unraveling the mysteries of Thoth's future. Among various theories, one particularly intriguing one posits the existence of remnants of a temple or even an outpost dedicated to Thoth on the lunar surface. Such lunar structures, potentially created by a prehistoric advanced civilization, could hold unprecedented insights into Thoth's role in the ancient world and his anticipated significance in the future. These theories speculate the existence of sophisticated societies capable of advanced lunar construction long before our current understanding of civilization. The existence of such a lunar edifice dedicated to Thoth would indeed be a aid to the deity's pervasive influence and the advanced capabilities of these early societies. This thought that the moon might be a silent custodian of an ancient deity's legacy is indeed a captivating notion. But the future of Thoth remains open-ended. Like the moon's phases, 
His role is in constant flux, reflecting the ever-changing human comprehension of the cosmos. In the realm of Thoth, the future is an unwritten book, teeming with boundless possibilities. These theories, as intriguing as they are, simply add more layers to the enigma that is Thoth's future. Now, let's delve into an intriguing theory that connects Thoth, the moon, and the emerald tablets. Thoth, as we've explored, has a strong connection to the moon. Ancient texts and depictions often associate him with this celestial body, hinting at a deeper, perhaps hidden, relationship. Some theories even suggest that lost advanced civilizations may have been capable of space travel, reaching the moon long before our modern era. These theories become even more fascinating when we consider the Emerald Tablets. These legendary tablets, said to be written by Thoth himself, are believed to contain profound wisdom and knowledge. And here lies an enthralling proposition. Could these Emerald Tablets be hidden on the moon, locked away in a pyramid-like structure? Imagine, if you will, a lunar landscape dotted with ancient structures, among them a pyramid, a beacon in the lunar night. Inside, the emerald tablets await, their wisdom locked away, waiting for the worthy. Could space travel, then, be a test of worthiness? A challenge set by Thoth himself to ensure that only those advanced enough, both technologically and spiritually, could gain access to the wisdom of the emerald tablets. Could the moon hold the key to unlocking the wisdom of the emerald tablets? Only time, and perhaps a lunar expedition, will tell. As we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what secrets we may uncover. The future of Thoth and our understanding of him remains as enigmatic as the moon itself. As we gaze up at our celestial companion, we are reminded that the wisdom of the ancients may still hold mysteries yet to be uncovered. But what is the legacy of this ancient god of wisdom and knowledge? Thoth's influence is as enduring as the sands of time. Like a river flowing through the annals of history, his impact on ancient Egyptian civilization is profound. Thoth's legacy extends far beyond the borders of Egypt, seeping into the foundations of our modern concepts of knowledge, wisdom, and science. He is the embodiment of intellectual pursuit, a testament to the timeless value of understanding and enlightenment. In contemporary culture, Thoth's relevance persists. He is a muse in literature, his wisdom and knowledge inspiring countless authors throughout the ages. His image graces the canvas of artists, his story told and retold in the strokes of their brushes. And in popular culture, from films to video games, Thoth's iconography and mythology continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Thoth's enduring legacy is a testament to the universal human pursuit of wisdom and understanding. His timeless relevance is a reminder that knowledge, like the God himself, transcends time and space. Yet the journey of understanding Thoth is far from over. As we delve deeper into the sands of time, new discoveries continue to shed light on this ancient god of wisdom. With every unearthed artifact, every translated hieroglyph, we peel back another layer of the rich tapestry that is Thoth's story. The quest to understand Thoth is not merely an academic pursuit, but a collective journey. Each of you, our viewers, is a part of this journey. Your support, your curiosity, your thirst for knowledge fuels this exploration. Together, we are not just unearthing history, but shaping the future of our understanding. As always, thanks for watching, your support means a lot. So please like and subscribe, together, let's continue to unearth history.